So, how did we get here? Let's go back a few months. It was one of those never-ending office days. What would I give to be somewhere exciting now? Then I found this. A country I had never heard of before. What the fuck is Kyrgyzstan? A few months later we got there and we were just about to find out. Indestructible mountains. Honestly, they have 85 different mountain chains crossing the country and three of them get higher than 7,000 meters. Wilderness and green valleys beyond belief. No ocean? Well, there is the Isikul, the Kyrgyzian Ocean. It's the second biggest alpine lake in the world. On top of that, there are over 1,900 other lakes across the country. Kyrgyzstan is incredibly beautiful. But in the end, it was not the landscape that made this journey a one-of-a-kind experience. My travel mate Ben happened to know someone who knows someone that knows someone in Bishkek, the capital of Kyrgyzstan. This is how we met Sultanat and her brother Altimbek. First, we planned to stay there for a night or two. But in the end, these very distant friends of mine became our Kyrgyzian family. We spent two weeks with them and only one week on a road trip on our own. They let us stay at their home. We ate together. They showed us sights around Bishkek. We went to a more or less successful fishing trip. They introduced us to countless friends and close family. We also had the pleasure to celebrate a sacrifice festival with our Kyrgyzian family. <laughs> Actually, we are not 100% sure what this holiday is about. Well, basically, you visit all your relatives, pray together and eat all different kinds of festive food. On this day, we probably met around 100 people. Thank you, sir. From food and useful tips to emotional support when we were hungover. We cannot describe how thankful we are for their hospitality and we are still in contact with each other. <laughs> By the way, be careful with kumas. It's fermented horse milk with up to 2.5% of alcohol. They love it, but it takes time getting used to it. So after all these impressions, what we recommend to travel this country? It's beautiful. We always felt safe. It's cheap and we hardly saw tourists. You have to understand how hard it is not to meet German people as a traveler. Germans are really everywhere. So yes, we definitely recommend it. But what the fuck is Kyrgyzstan? Kyrgyzstan is different to any other country we visited before. It's hard to answer this question with just one sentence. But we hope this video gave you an insight of what it's like. Anyone who wants to can have a great time. Just go there. Finally, for us, it was Sultanat, Altenbeck and their family who made our time that special. We will never forget you and we cherish everything you did for us. Thank, Thank you. you. Ahmad.
Fun fact, after three weeks we were not Yannick and Ben anymore. We became Yannick Beck and Ben Beck. <laughs> <laughs>